I saw a beautiful sheep wall and then I was kind of looking around and I thought man this doesn't look like a normal rock pile I could only see it with binoculars and I had to hike clear up here I'm still winded but hey this is a new site for me hopefully no one else has been here either I'll show you the sheep wall on the way back down that's pretty cool but as you can see this is definitely some sort of foundation so it's on let's dig I got gunner today Well, so far all I got is a few bullets and uh, some tin cans, but, and I wouldn't normally show you this, but look how cool that top is. It says ER Durkee and Company, trademark, New York. Looks like a armored hand, like he's wearing a gauntlet or something. Well, I finally got an old sheep tag, man. It's been a fight today, I tell you. Where I started, I was like there for oh, three hours. I got almost nothing worth showing you. Somebody had hit it. But I love these sheep tags because they have a lot of information in them and you can look the people up and find out who they were. Oh, I think it says like Wes Hall. That's what it is. R. Lee, Montana. All right, it took some time, but I got on another foundation. And I just walked up to it and got a 1918 Weedy. So that's a good sign. Maybe this hasn't been hit. Boy, that other one had been decimated. All right, a little action. Man. Yeah, I guess you just stick with it. <laughs> uh, boy, it's been a long day. I started at about 10 o'clock. It's like 3.30 and I'm finally getting on to something. Boy, right near that button is a real fancy one. It's got some lions and a shield or something. A little two-piece. Yeah, maybe I'll get you a close-up of that one. That one's pretty. Well, there's the well. Sucker's deep, too. That's pretty. Well, that's a 1915 Weedy, so they're getting older. That's a good sign. Hey, maybe we'll get on a little silver today after all that. Dang, I just found a ring. What the heck? If that was gold, that'd be crazy because I don't think I've ever found gold at a homestead. It's not looking real good. Let me take a peek though. Yeah, she's plated, but that's pretty neat. That's probably pretty valuable to these guys. Man, I'm just kind of scoring at this site. There's actually not a lot here, but every time I dig something, it seems to be good. So there's a little general service button. Oh, or I guess like a collar pin or something. It's got a weird back. Is probably no better than I do. Boy, it's in pretty shape though. I sure like that. Man, I got some sort of cool button here. Let me clean that sucker up and see what it says. I just made my day. It says Northern Pacific. I think that's a two piece railroad button. I do not have one of those. That's amazing. I don't know what that is. I think it's a pocket watch chain. It's neat. So Dinwiddie and I found a virgin site today, amazingly. I just spotted this little teeny pile of rocks and we walked over and it turned out to be a cellar hole. And I'm almost out of battery, so I can kind of tell you what's happened so far. I got some buttons, I got some big iron, you know, like horseshoes. I got an actual iron that's really cool. Uh, you know, I got some uh, suspender clip stuff. But look at this beautiful pin. I had to get this on film. That thing's beautiful. Looks like they had a woman. So there's quite a bit of stuff here. A lot of it's not great. These people are definitely poor. But look at that. Sash buckle. Half of one anyways. Flower. 
It's a flower and a lily pad. I can't tell. Dinwiddie thinks it's a flower. That's a definitely like a tulip, but this top part looks like a lily pad. That's an ornate little suspender clip. It says Trio. That is one I do not have in my collection. That one's pretty neat. Look at that. Dinwiddie. What'd you get? It's a chicken incubator thermometer. It's got a bunch of like numbers on it and stuff once they're cleaned up because I've got one before. But but the other one I got didn't have the glass. <laughs> Dang, that's cool, man. Yeah. But it's chili powder on the other side. <laughs> um I think it's die heart or something. No. CLB H A R D T Eagle Chili Pata. <laughs> well, thanks, man. This is a nice gift. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> when I die, I'll leave it to you. <laughs> All right, Dinwiddie and I were on a new spot we just found, and I got a coin. Which we always like to get just so we know what dates we're dealing with. This is a weedy. So, hopefully it's at least an old weedy. Let me uh, see if I can get a date. Alright, so I think this says 1930. Which is about when most of these were abandoned. So, hopefully this is the latest thing here. Boy, there's a real nice foundation and cellar. I'll probably show you here in a second. Let's see what we can get. Check this out. Yeah, boom. That's a first for Dinwiddie. Yeah. Also, it's a steel one. So that's a that's a real nice candidate to do a little electrolysis on. My first yeah. one was steel too. Mine came out actually pretty nice after a few days in electrolysis. Oh, yeah, I've got some at home. I'll do that. Yeah, super happy with that. Boom. Good boom. job. Thanks. Boom, we're on it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I guess while I'm up, I might as well give you a little walk around, so. It's actually a pretty big um, foundation. And you can see all the wood laying around. But let me uh, give you a little shot of the cellar hole. That's the real beaut. Look at that pretty thing. Hey, you gotta love that. A little rock work. Nice. Well, I also got a key. Except for mine, I believe, is a Model T key. Yeah, it says Ford, and then they have the number on the back. What number is that one? I see the number 59. That's a nice ornate leg off yeah. a stove. Huge. I don't think I've ever seen one quite so big. They're toasty, but should clean up well with the electronics. Yeah, that'll look awesome cleaned up. Well, there's one of those tent tie-downs. Well, that sure sounded good. Look what Dinwiddie left in this hole. He left me a nice Shirley president. Man, I love these things. Right on it. Yeah, that's a weird little sketching. Yeah. Huh. That's definitely a child. Yep. Well, this has been kind of a battle. I got a coin, though. What's it going to be? That looks like a mercury dime to me. Dang, that thing's toast. <laughs> Let me get some water. Well, that's kind of toast. Might have been in a fire. Uh, I did get a date, though. 1917. Boom. Gotta love that silver, baby. What do you think, Gunner? Silver? <laughs>